An organism's trophic level refers to its position in a food chain. The first level is always occupied by the producers, the second by the primary consumers, the third by the secondary consumers and the fourth by the tertiary consumers. The energy flows from the producers to the top consumers, which may be tertiary or quaternary consumers. In order for the food chain to function, there must be a large number of producers and fewer number of consumers at subsequent trophic levels. Pause the video at this point, taking a look at this food chain and see if you can label the trophic level of each organism. So let's see if you manage to remember. So the phytoplankton are the producers, the first trophic level. The starfish were the primary consumers. The crab, the secondary consumers. The seagull, the tertiary consumers. And the shark, I mentioned it earlier, but that's a quaternary consumer, sometimes known as a top predator. Now it's important to note that the term consumer should be used instead of the terms herbivore or carnivore which are used only to describe their diet and should not be used to describe the trophic level. So building on our prior knowledge we can also do this kind of identification in a food web. So here the phytoplankton are the producers, the primary consumers have just been circled, the secondary consumers, you can identify them by going through the food chain, they are the second organisms to eat. The third organisms that eat, the tertiary consumers, these are the seagulls and the killer whales. Finally, when you look at the sharks and follow through my cursor or my arrow, you can see that they are secondary consumers. They're also tertiary consumers. And finally, they're also quaternary consumers. So one organism can occupy more than one trophic level.